Oh. Oh, wow. Operation Golden Nugget has been causing a little bit of a buzz on the internet, and that's good because we're about to tell that story. We went down a few months ago to see if this was even possible to recover this vehicle. When we filmed it, I kind of filmed it like we were going to use like almost none of it. I didn't film it to be an episode. But by the time we got more involved and we did the recovery, I realized that this is too big to put in one video. So I'm going to tell the story of how we went down and did the reconnaissance mission to figure out if we could even complete this mission. And here is the story. So we got a call. Oh, by the way, it's me. I'm, I'm incognito. I got my Jeep Doc hat on, Hawaiian shirt, because I'm going undercover. Not Trevor, though. We're going to blow his cover. Trevor is fly <laughs> the colors. I got my shirt and my hat. Yeah, all right, so here's what's going on. We are headed to the airport because we are flying out to meet Ed at his one of his gold claims. He has got a vehicle out there that has been there for like 20 or 25 years behind a rock slide, and we're going to go look and see if we can get it out. So this is the recon mission. Got my uh, recovery expert, Paul. Got my cameraman extraordinaire, Trevor. And Lizzie is the one dropping us off at the airport. So the purpose of this trip is to go out and just look and see, is this even feasible? I believe it's feasible. Paul believes it's feasible. Ed's skeptical, but either way, we're gonna figure out what tools we need, what kind of manpower we need. We're gonna get this out of here. And uh, I don't know, I heard there's poison oak down there. I don't know if I've ever been in poison oak, but if I get sick and die, I'll be very put out. <laughs> Cue the montage. If you don't know us very well, you're probably not the least bit alarmed that we're heading out on a trip all by ourselves. <laughs> Left-handed rock throwing competition. <laughs> Looks like Paul chose incorrectly. How long have we been here, Paul? At least 30 minutes. All right, so Trevor's finally started to make some progress. He's fourth from the first of the line. I calculate that's 25 more minutes. Only 25 more minutes and then we'll be able to go find some food. Trevor. What'd you get us? The Jeep. Did they save us the Wrangler? What is it? Compass. Okay, so. Trevor got us a Jeep Compass. Me? Okay. My beard's a mess from the mask. I'll slide up, give me some. Let's get some AC going here. Good oh, music. I don't believe in yesterday. So where are we going? We're going to Red Lobster because steak and seafood sounds really good to me. Paul agrees. Trevor, what do you say? Do I get to wear a bib? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's proud of his, his bounty over there. <laughs> it's been amazing. All right, so we're here at our place of lodging. All right. Uh -huh. What do we got here? Not too shabby. All right, well, I think everybody's going straight to bed. It's been a long day. All right, we'll see you in the morning. So we're gonna be meeting Ed about two hours away from where we stayed. So we got about a two hour drive. We're gonna drive up over the mountains and into the wilderness. You're being awfully tight-lipped, Trevor. I am too tired. I don't really know what to expect today. It's gonna, it's a whole new adventure. Yeah, it's gonna be rough and rugged, I think. I'm kind of worried about the miners, um, that they're gonna make fun of, let's call us city boys. I don't know. All I've got is movies to go up from. <laughs> So 
we just called Ed, told him we're on schedule. I'm pretty excited. I've never been with him at a mining camp, so. Fred? How's it going? Matt, good to see you again. I'm you Fred. Are, I'm Trevor. Nice Trevor, to meet you. Glad to meet you. I'm Paul. Paul, glad to meet you. You can kind of get a feel for where the original level of the ground was. And they washed all that down the canyon right there into the river that we just crossed down there at that bridge. In the late 1800s, they choked up these river canyons and out into the floodplain of the Sacramento Valley. They screwed it up for the farmers down there and there was a big war between the miners and the farmers. Today we're gonna to be walking in an old ditch that has been opened up by Ed and my former mining partner to get his Jeep through. But we'll be walking about a quarter of a mile through that ditch. Well, we're starting down now. Down here about a half a block. My 65 Chevy caught on fire. The plastic fuel pump broke. Oh. And man, I had, I had some gunny sacks. I had a heck of time getting it out. I thought I was going to burn the whole floor. Man. You won't need four wheel drive till we get to the gates, probably. They got two gates down here in private land. All right, so it's getting serious now because there's poison oak. I don't know a lot about poison oak. It doesn't sound very fun. Poison it has the word poison in it. And oaky. Paul says he's immune. I have been so far, so. All right, we should put it to the test. I'm sure we will by the end of this day. <laughs> They'll be like, it's a different strain. <laughs> <laughs> We'll fill our canteens here. Got a nice spring over there. Used it for 40 years. I locked the cab, yeah. Okay, if I die. You're off to school. Yeah. <laughs> you look like Tommy Boy if you'd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would like a positive identification on poison oak. So it's got the serrated ed leaves? This is blackberry. Go ahead and touch okay, it. Okay, that's blackberry right there. Okay, and it's got this. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about this. Um, ooh, ooh, look There's at the There's some blackberries. berries on them. They're coming out nice. When we were up here last week, I was going to get some to take home. Yeah, they're good. We're gonna have to fight a bear off of them here before long, probably. <laughs> day one of a loan. <laughs> I could make it. At least to day two, I could make it. You know, not gonna be the guy that calls the boat back when it gets out of sight. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what we're looking out for. That's what you're looking out for. Light. A stem with three leaves on it. Here's more right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we might just put the Jeep together mechanically and come do this job and then take it up to Robbie's. Put some skinny tires on. Oh, wow. You think you could turn around there? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you can get turned you around here. To. You had to. You can always, I think you can throw one out of here. So, if we bring the banana, we're going to need a chainsaw, picks, shovels. But uh, we're not going to paint it and do any body work first. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. So what's going on here? Just for coming back out, so you got a rope to hang on to coming up. So he doesn't have to kick it into four-wheel drive. Have, have Trevor Fireman carry him. <laughs> this is about as far as you could probably go. I think you might get over some of that. We'll look, check it out and see. But that ain't as bad as the Rubicon Trail. Now nah, we can not drive. even close. We can drive right oh, down this. Right. Well, that's a pretty view. This is awesome. So this is Trevor's solution to bringing water shoes. Yeah. 
right there. I like it. Put it in up there in that pond and float it down to here. Yeah, we're me and Paul are gonna walk up there and look at that. We'll walk up that way. That's okay. Don't walk up there, it gets too deep. That's okay. okay. Oh my, that does get deep, doesn't it? Oh my. Um yeah, this is already deeper than I Ed, you were right. <laughs> We're about the thorniest trees made. They're bad. Okay, here's the latest development we've been talking. We've got to build this road. We've got to fix this road to get the Suzuki out. And if we have a road to get the Suzuki out, we'll have a road to get the banana in. So we have just changed our strategy to coming in and building road as we go, solving problems as we go. Once we get to here, like problems are over. So we've got 200 yards of struggle. Yeah. A couple of struggles up there in that ditch, but yeah. yeah. Long as long as we don't submarine your machine, we're gonna be fine. Yeah. You doing good? Can you see it? Right there. I see it. When I brought it in here, it was all flat and level. Oh. Oh, wow. That was cool. Look at that. Oh, it's got doors on it. Yeah. This side, that side plywood. Plywood. It's the full top version. All right, that's not an option. <laughs> She's locked up. Yep. All right, look at that little guy. You got that? This thing's pretty cool. Uh, Tell really there. Pretty dang you know, cool. Down to four flat tires, but it has air in them. It's a five lug wheel. Do you think we can skirt the river and cross where it's shallow and forget about floating it? If we're doing all that building, that was that part just too gnarly. I well, well, because it because if we have yeah. to float it, we're not gonna get the banana to this side. That's true. I think we can build a road around we're it. We're gonna have to build a road. Yeah. We need to bring a four-wheeler with us. Something that can run from up to back down quick and easy. Yeah. The steering wheel still connected. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a custom door, really. Yeah. Did you make this door? Yeah. Good job, Ed. So this hasn't ran in 30 years? 40. 40 years. Wow, it's totally locked. Mm. There's, there's too many important things missing. 40 years is too long to leave it in the forest. We need to get the banana to this side. I agree. We need to drive the banana right to it, right there. Mm -hmm. Paul and I think we have a plan for getting this out of here. We're gonna be using some of Ed's expertise. So we're heading out now. We've got all the information we think we need and whoa. And we're gonna go back and get some lunch. Yeah. What do you think of our plan? Do you think it's gonna work? One way or another. If we bring Eric, he can just lift it. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Nothing like a challenge. You think it's a 100% success rate? Oh yeah, we'll get it out. What, One way uh, or another. What shape it's in. I mean, it's not good shape anyway, so. <laughs> I just hope there's enough to work with when we get it out of there, like fix it. Yeah. That's the plan. Don't eat the berries off the poison oak, Matt. I'm trying not to. It's not the, it's not, not, it's not the apple that I'm looking at. Look at all those 
Oh, berries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paul sees berries. <laughs> hey, I'm excited about the berries, too. Every time I go to pick them, somebody's like, Boy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a bunch uh, by Matt's house when we were little. The Himalaya berries. They were good. Yep. Oh, poison oak, Matt. Don't worry. I in know. There. You better let me go get those. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a picnic down there. Did you find some berries? There's enough tent sites for four and five, four or five feet back there, I think. So we're gonna have a whole operation out here. Yeah, we're gonna have a tent city. Yeah, there's plenty of camping spots here. Okay, Ed, we'll see you when you get back. And we'll make a plan. Thanks again. Yep, be good safe. Good to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah good, good to meet you. Ed. So, 47 years ago, Ed drove his Suzuki J20 for the last time because he put it away for the winter, and then that winter a rock slide came and trapped it from civilization. It's been there ever since. We're gonna go down and get it. So this is our crew, really uh, quick. I know this is boring, but here we here we go. So this is our crew. We've got Ed, we've got Tucker, Trevor, we've got Paul from Fab Rats, we've got Eric, we've got Lizzie, and we've got Tom Tom. We're gonna go get it. <laughs> That's that confidence one. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else wanna say something? Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>